Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Gabby Danieli, and I'm the Chief Strategy and Marketing Officer at Cortigo. In today's session, we will go through a quick introduction on IOLink Wireless. We will understand the characteristics and components of an IOLink Wireless system, and we'll learn about a variety of solutions and use cases in which IOLink Wireless is used for factory automation. The industrial space today is still limited in many senses due to the enormous amounts of cabling that's required for communication at the manufacturing floor and the machine level. Wired communication is not feasible for many motion control solutions that are moving and rotating rapidly. Cables lead to maintenance and unplanned downtime due to wear and tear. They also lead to complex deployments that are not cost effective. And in addition, cabled solutions cannot really reach the full flexibility and the full agility that's required for many automation solutions. In order to address this need, IOLink Wireless was created and designed specifically for wireless factory automation communication. So what is IOLink Wireless? IOLink Wireless is an extension of the IOLink standard. It's a global wireless communication protocol for real-time control and monitoring. It enables cable-grade connectivity, but without the cables. And it's completely compatible with IOLink devices. IOLink Wireless ensures a low latency of five milliseconds, very high reliability. The reliability is measured by the packet error rate. It is a million times more reliable than conventional wireless networks, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, or Wireless Heart. In addition, the IOLink Wireless Protocol is designed to be very robust. It coexists with other wireless systems in range, and it's very immune to noisy and harsh environments, such as factory automation environments. And furthermore, it offers scalability to support hundreds of devices over the air in a single machine area or work cell area, as we'll soon see in some of the examples and use cases. So let's first understand what are the components of an IOLink wireless solution. At the device level, there are two options for creating IOLink wireless devices. The first is to connect an IOLink wireless bridge to off the shelf devices like this device that you see over here. These can be either IOLink or digital devices and the bridge can be connected to sensors, to actuators, and even to IO hubs, thus enabling multiple IO devices to transmit wirelessly through a single bridge. In this example, the bridge includes an IP67 rated housing, a built-in antenna, and M12 standard connectors that can be connected easily to industrial devices. The second option, as you can see here, is to embed and integrate an IOLink wireless module inside a sensor or actuator. The modules include the IOLink wireless stack and the physical radio components. In this example, you can see an IOLink wireless module, like this printed circuit board over here at the bottom, embedded inside an end effector on a collaborative robot. Moving up, we can see the IOLink wireless masters, which enable the communication between the devices to the PLC at the OT level, for example, via industrial ethernet communication, such as ethernet IP or Profinet, but also to any enterprise and cloud applications at the IT level, for example, communication via MQTT or OPC UA. The master is an off-the-shelf IP67 device like this one you see here, right in the center, with an industrial ethernet interface and the ability to communicate with up to 40 IO link wireless devices per standard specification. Similar to the devices, the master can also come in the form of a module that can be embedded and integrated into other communication products. As you can see, the printed circuit board module here, which includes again, the full IOLink wireless stack and implementation for an IOLink master along with the physical radio components. And finally, the software layer. It enables several functionalities it enables configuration and setup of IOLink wireless masters and devices, system monitoring and device management over the air, 
collection and aggregation of data that may be consumed by other third party or cloud based applications and integration to other enterprise software applications, such as ERP or MES systems. So now let's focus on the use cases and some of the applications in which IOL Link Wireless is used for. On robots and collaborative robots, communication to the end effectors requires external cabling. It requires cable mounting accessories and also dedicated wired masters. First of all, robots and cobots do not typically come equipped with the cables required for the end effectors. In addition, the deployment can be complex and not cost effective. It also limits the motion and the flexibility of the robotic arm and adds to the total payload on the robotic arm. With IO-Link wireless, end effectors such as grippers or vacuum pumps can easily turn to wireless devices. In the example here below, you can see an off-the-shelf IO-Link gripper that has a universal wireless adapter. This wireless adapter has an embedded IO-Link wireless device module in it like the printed circuit board module we just saw in the previous slide. The wireless adapter enables several things. It enables to connect to a variety of robots universally, and it also enables connecting a variety of grippers, in this case, to a single adapter. And of course, it provides the actual wireless communication. You can see here how a wireless solution eliminates the cables and accessories running along the robotic arm. This increases flexibility. It enables free motion of 360 degrees or 720 degrees, and also reduces the overall complexity. In this video now that I'm playing, you can see the IOLink uh, gripper that used to have the cables on the collaborative robot. Now with no cables running along the arm of the robot. You can see the free motion and no cables. In this case, the master will be connected directly to the controller of the robot. By having such a wireless master, by the way, it now enables you to connect additional wireless devices or sensors in the same robot area with the same wireless master that can communicate with numerous devices in parallel. So even more value is gained. This next use case is for enabling communication on independent mover transport systems. These transport track systems are a key element in the design of new machines in a variety of industries, such as consumer packaged goods, food and beverage, and automotive. However, the independent movers on the tracks are still limited. The movers are not completely smart. They lack the ability to have communication for real-time control and monitoring directly on the mover itself. For example, controlling vacuum pumps or grippers that are placed on the movers in order to grab and hold different types of products and automatically adjust to different sizes, shapes, and weight of the products while in motion. They also lack the ability to communicate ongoing sensor data for predictive maintenance and analytics from each mover, such as vibration, proximity, and weight. This is simply not feasible, as you can see, to achieve with cables on these fast moving transport systems that typically move at speeds of two to four meters per second. In the same manner that power needs to be provided to the movers on these transport tracks through inductive power without any contact and without any cables, then also the communication has to be done without any contact to the movers. IOLink Wireless here provides the perfect solution. It's designed to meet a low latency of five milliseconds with synchronization rates between the movers of a few microseconds. It ensures cable grade reliability as mentioned, a million times more reliable than traditional wireless networks. And what cannot be overlooked in such an application is scalability. The wireless system is expected to be able to support in some cases, hundreds of wireless movers with actuators and sensors in a single machine area, and to have the robustness to operate at high speeds. As you can see, by adding IOLink wireless communication on each mover, the movers can now be equipped with both an actuator and a variety of sensors directly on them without any additional external robotics or equipment. This is done by connecting an IOLink wireless bridge or an IOLink wireless device to the actuator on the mover. The mover 
can now independently manipulate objects with a variety of tools, such as a gripper or a vacuum pump. In addition, by connecting the bridge to a multi-port IO hub, you can even collect data from a variety of sensors on each mover. The devices on the movers can all have the same function, or each mover can have a different function, depending on what is needed for the application. <clears throat> Such a solution enables products to be processed while in constant motion in the most agile and synchronized manner. Less mechanical components are needed outside the movers, which reduces machine footprint and maintenance. It reduces and even eliminates changeover and tooling setup time due to the fact that the grippers and pumps configuration can be changed over the air from the PLC. And condition monitoring capabilities can easily be added. All these are driving adaptive manufacturing even further by enabling small batches at high capacity with maximum production line flexibility to handle different product types and configurations. In this next use case, IOLink Wireless is addressing the need for communication on very fast rotating devices in harsh environments. As an example, CNC, milling, or grinding machines are rotating and moving in very high speeds, thousands of rounds per minute. The conditions inside these machines are also extreme with a lot of metal objects and much interferences in fluids. Data collection is required from the machine tooling to enable predictive maintenance analytics and machine optimization. This data is needed not just when the machine is in idle mode or not rotating, but rather it needs to be collected continuously while the machine is operating and rotating. Cable communication, as you can see, and other traditional wireless technologies are simply not fit for this type of solution. By embedding IOLink wireless, radio components inside machine tooling and inside machine tools, it's possible to collect a variety of data such as force, torque, temperature, and vibration. The data from the machine tool is transmitted from inside the machine via the IO-Link wireless module, which can also be battery powered. This data is received by the IO-Link wireless master and communicated to the PLC or any other external application. By communicating this information, it's possible to improve product quality and yield, reduce setup time and eliminate manual processes, enable predictive maintenance, improve the accuracy and the precision of tools, and even improve safety as machine tools that are not operating properly can damage the machine and operating personnel. Next up, machine retrofit. As manufacturing plants are seeking to get more intelligence and data from their production lines, Retrofitting your current equipment is the right choice. Adding a variety of sensors in a simple and cost-effective manner is key for machine retrofit and condition monitoring solutions. Wireless connectivity enables simple and cost-effective retrofit and revamp of numerous devices on existing machines. It simplifies relocation and upgrades and even new machine deployment. IOLink wireless bridges can be used to easily turn wired industrial sensors to wireless. In this example, you can see an off-the-shelf IOLink flow sensor directly connected to an IOLink wireless bridge. The example you can see here is for retrofitting machine with an airflow monitoring application. The energy used for compressed air accounts for a large amount of the total power consumption in the plant. A factory-wide solution is required to monitor all the machines using compressed air to ensure optimal flow, prevent leakages, and reduce waste. Cabling of the sensors from the machines to the network is challenging in terms of cost and deployment effort. Such a solution enables a simple and easy to deploy wireless connection from the flow sensor on each machine. An IOLink wireless bridge is connected to each off the shelf industrial flow sensor. An IOLink wireless master communicates with the wireless uh, bridges and relays the data from the machines to a software application without the need to reconfigure the PLCs. The benefits from such a solution can include annual reduction of energy consumption on compressed air, overall deployment complexity reduction and cost reduction, improved maintenance processes, and reduction of unplanned maintenance and downtime. So to summarize this session, before we open up for some questions and answers, 
As you've seen, Ireland Wireless is addressing unmet needs that cannot be addressed today by existing wireless systems. It provides a broad range of applications and use cases that drive operational excellence, adaptive manufacturing, and cost efficiency. IOLink Wireless is transforming wireless connectivity for factory automation by creating a more connected industrial world that's not bound by cables in the most reliable, the most scalable, and cost-effective manner. Thank you very much.